Okay, it's time to uh, make a micro camper. Stay tuned. So some progress is being made. We've taken the carpet out, the two bits of plywood that boxed up the arches. Try to remove these first, but it's kind of wedged in where the floor is. So I've got to take the floor up first. This carpet, this beige horrible stuff, was held in by tacks everywhere down here. So I need to go around, get all them tacks up before that I'll quickly hoover it all up. And then to remove the floor, there's a few Phillips head screws dotted about, so we'll get all them up and see what we're like underneath. But the arches look good. There's no rust creeping up, so hopefully she's nice and clean underneath, but we shall see. Yeah, got it all out. So no real hidden nasties under here. Actually pretty pleased how clean it is, to be honest. Looks like it was a, a tiler who owned this at one point. There's lots of tiling spaces and chipped tiles, so we'll hoover all this out, clean all the insides, but there's no rust, which is a very good thing. I've had some vans before where you lifted the floor up and they've been a bit of a mess, so this ain't too bad. So I'm going to hoover it up, give it a little wash out. And there we go, all cleaned out, blank canvas. Not too bad. So now we're going to fit the foil insulation and keep it nice and toasty in there. So we got Alessia working in the sweatshop, doing a bit of painting, painting all the plyboard in a grey colour. That was the darkest I could find in B&M, where it was cheap paint. Just going over these panels, I said the first coat, that's on the second coat. Just had some lunch and a coffee, but I've started putting the foil bubble wrap insulation on. I'm not going to go overly mad on this. I know in the past I've completely covered everything with foil, but it's a micro camper. It's going to get damp anyway. It's got windows, but that should be enough just to keep the, the chill off a little bit. I've done both sides. I've got to go over these arches before I put the covers back on. I've not done the roof because I'm still not sure what I'm going to use material wise for that but come along and in a bit I'm going to go and get the vinyl flooring. Okay, so I'm just test fitting the vinyl flooring. Uh, I've cut it to 1.6 meters by 1.5 with minimal trimming needed. The roll I bought was 2 by 3 meters so I've got plenty left over for other jobs but yep. Yeah. As a test fit, looking pretty good. So all I've got to do now is just cut all this edge in. That, once this is cut, that will lay flat to the edge there. That's all done. And then again, just the same this side, just trim a little bit off around there. And then all that will be hidden under the arch boxes. I need to insulate that, but yeah, that's the floor. And I've also got a little trim piece to go along the back here. 
this was exposed before but we'll do something with that and there we go that's today's job done walls painted insulated done the flooring insulated underneath vinyl floor down that's pretty cool so inside I just got to do the roof I've got to try and figure something out with that roof paneling or try and get the multivan cover which is a bit like the front which goes all the way across so we'll leave that for another day I'd say that's a, a job well done so if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel stay tuned for more videos peace